Hello, good day, good evening. Welcome to Verbling. I'm Teacher Oakley, and uh, today, today's class at this time will be the conclusion of our vocabulary series on emotions, moods, and feelings. Oh, I hope that was emotional enough for you all. Today, all right. Today, we are going to be learning vocabulary related to liking and disliking. For any of you people who are preparing for an IELTS or a TOEFL exam, these questions about liking and disliking preferences are absolutely key, mandatory. They will be on the exam. You will need to know how to deal with this subject, what you like and what you don't like. So uh, any of you guys getting ready for these exams, tune in. Tune in now. Uh, these questions will be on your IELTS exam. They will be on your TOEFL exam. Learning how to express your likes and dislikes is mandatory. So, anyway, we're going to do it. Uh, Orhe, what the heck is going on? <laughs> Hi. Hey. How, how, you how doing? are you, man? Uh, I still see it, but much better than yesterday. Oh, that's good. All right, I'm glad to hear you're recuperating. You know that yeah. word? Recuperate getting better from an illness. Yeah, glad, yeah. Glad to hear you're recuperating, Jorge, and I'm glad to see you in class. Cool. Thank you. All right, man. We're going to we're going to do it today. I'm really stoked about today's lesson cuz this is an important one. Uh Okay, uh, Vienna. Hello. Vienna? Vienna. Beautiful Scotty dog uh, picture. Is that a Scotty dog or is that one of those uh, Irish wolfhounds? I don't know what it is. You've got to tell me, Vienna. Come on, unmute yourself. Either click on the little drop down on your picture and click unmute or go to the. There we go. Hello? Vienna? Hello? Oh my goodness. Well, hopefully he or she will come back. Uh, I hope so. Plenty yeah. of room in the class. I, I don't know where everybody is, but we're, we got stuff to talk about, so we're going to get started. Vienna, are you there? <laughs> Try again. Vienna? Vienna, are you there? Hello? Jeez, man, I, I really want you to be able to join the class. I, I could hear your microphone earlier. Now I hear nothing, just so you know. Anyway, Orhe and I are going to get started. We, we got stuff to learn here. So, um, okay. all right, let's go. Orhe, I'm going to do a screen share with you. And uh, we're going to talk about liking things, liking them or not liking them. First, liking. I will tell you in IELTS, you or if other viewers, look, liking questions are <laughs> inevitable on an IELTS exam. Uh, what kind of music do you like? What do you like? What? They will always say like or they will say, what do you dislike? Now. You need to know, to do well on an IELTS exam, you absolutely need to know other vocabulary other than like and dislike. We're going to learn right. it right now. Yeah, you do. All right. Uh, hey, it's Jackie. Hey, Jackie. Jackie, are you there? Hi. 
Jackie, are you there? Uh, oh, I can hear you. Hey, Jackie, there's a lot of background noise, so I would ask that you mute yourself. Please. So I don't have to talk over you. All right. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, I'll do it for you. Okay, Jackie. Uh, I muted you because there's uh, a lot of extra noise coming from your place. So, uh, oh, maybe it's from Vienna. Vienna. <laughs> Hi. Hi, there you are. Okay. Hi, how are you? Fine, fine. I can hear you before. Very good. Uh, Vienna, I have some questions. Where are you from? I'm from Honduras. You're from Venice? Honduras. Excuse Venice, me? It, Italy? Excuse me? Italia? Italy? Venice, Italy? No. Honduras, Central America. Oh, Honduras. Oh, Honduras. Yeah. Got you. Uh, I, I miss... You say it so fast. Is that how you really say it? Honduras! 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 Wow, that's really fast. I'm an American. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. Have, excuse me. I know it as Honduras. I don't say. Honduras. <laughs> sorry about that. Sorry, no. really. I'm sorry. Okay. Any, anyway, Vienna, is that your dog in your uh, in your picture? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, is that a? It's a very. It's a close-up picture. Yes. Is that, is that a Scotty dog or is that an Irish wolfhound? What kind of dog is that? It is a schnauzer. A schnauzer. Yes. A schnauzer. Oh, yeah, yeah, I could have. Yeah, I should have guessed that. Vienna, do you really like schnauzers? I love dogs. In, in my dog in. It's a gift. A gift? Oh, that's a cool gift. Uh, okay, Vienna, if you could do me a favor and yes. mute your microphone when you're not speaking because there's some background noise. All right? Okay. Uh, and then if you do that, we're going to learn uh, about how you can talk about schnauzers and how much you love them. We're going to do that right now. Okay? Okay. So, you don't mind. Mute your microphone, please. And when I come around to you, I'll, I'll be calling on you real, real soon. And then you can unmute yourself and, and we'll chat. Okay, Jorge, starting with you. Uh, what we're going to do. Which uh, of the two choices, now there's two choices here. Ex which do you think expresses a stronger feeling of liking something? Mm -hmm. Uh Go ahead and read it, and then read which part you think is a, a stronger expression of liking something. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. So, what's this CD? Uh, I really like it. Very good. Yeah. I really like it is a stronger response than I quite like it. Quite like it is a little above 50%, you know, kind of a... Kind of neutral. Uh, okay, very good. Um, uh, everybody in the class, or hey, everyone. The Verblink chat box does not allow us to scroll down, so I will be putting comments and extra information in the group <laughs> chat box. You can find the group chat box by clicking on the blue box in the upper left-hand corner of your screen if you scroll up with your mouse just click on yeah, that okay. thing all right I got it you got it all right here I am I just said hi that's me hi wonderful Vienna number two yes mm, I like I like your cut where did you get now which one is a stronger Expression. I like your coat, or I do like your coat. I Which like your coat. Well, actually, no. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, now this is a weird thing, all right? This is a strange English thing. It makes no grammatical sense. All right, I, mean, I want to introduce you guys to something strange in English that we do. To add emphasis, especially to verbs about emotions, uh, especially like, dislike, hate, love, we add this weird unnecessary do. Now, this is an odd thing I know and heaven help me I cannot explain it grammatically. English is so crazy. Anyway, if you're going to use this you really need the intonation. I do like your coat. Oh, I do like your coat. That's beautiful. Oh, I absolutely do hate that person. I really do hate that person. Uh, we use this to uh, add emphasis, to underline, highlight, to express strong feeling about something. It doesn't make sense grammatically. Don't try to make sense of it because you can't. <laughs> it doesn't make yeah. sense. Uh, yeah. Okay, I, ha I have a question. Uh, sure. It's, it's just with verbs related to feelings? Yeah, mostly. All right, well, you know, okay, Jorge, well, mostly. That's generally when you hear it. But I suppose, Jorge, I could say, I do swim very well. I really do. Uh, I suppose okay, okay. If, you, if you did something very, very well, you know, a verb of dynamic verb, a, a verb of action. I do talk a lot, don't I? <laughs> Look at that. Okay. okay. Well, it, All right. It's clear. Yeah. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I really do talk a lot. <laughs> there it is. All right, it's used to add emphasis. It does not really make any grammatical sense. Heaven help us, but that's English. Uh Jackie, can you uh can you give me an answer here? You should go to New York one day. You, which is stronger, you'd like it or you'd love it? Like or love? Oh, he's busy. I think he's talking. Yeah. To, I think he's I talking think. to a client or something. All right, Orhe, back to you. Uh, I think you should go to the New York one day. You'd love it. Okay, you'd love it. Okay. You you snuck in a the here, the New York. Don't do not do that. No city except The Hague in Denmark, other than that one weird exception. No city should have the in front of it, ever. Okay? Uh, so I have to say you should go New York one day? You should go two. Two is fine. Oh, okay. I think you said the New York. You can't do that. Okay, yeah. okay, so you should right. go to New York one day. Yeah. You love it. Yeah, you would. Or hey, you ever been to New York? NYC, uh -huh. baby? Mm, I have no plans for going there in, in, in next month, but maybe in a year I am going to there. Just next, for next year. Next, next year, yeah, just for All fun. Right. All right, all right, man. Go down to like 14th Street. All right, go down okay. to the uh, go down there. Go to some old man's bar, shoot a little pool, and talk to the natives. And then you get to really know New York City. Okay, okay but don't get thanks. mugged, man. Don't go down there late. Don't go there at two in the morning. Go there at two in the afternoon. All right. Also, why? Because you get your butt kicked. That's why. <laughs> Uh, two in the afternoon. You see a bunch of old men sitting around a bar drinking warm beer. Uh, and you can uh, play a game of pool, and uh, you get to know what New York City's really like from the old geezers sitting around the bar. That's that's my advice. Everybody does all the popular things in New York. That's my advice. All right. You really want to know New York. Okay. Thank you, man. Yeah, you'll love it. Uh, Vienna, number four. I'm going to have a dessert. Now, 
uh, I, I absolutely adore strawberries. Much stronger. Much stronger statement. Absolutely adore. Love, 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 love strawberries. Do you love strawberries, Vienna? Yes. I love strawberries. You do? Uh, me too. Strawberries are awesome. You know something really weird? I'm an American. I live in the Philippines. But one of the fruits, you know, you think of coconuts or mangoes. One of the fruits that's grown really well here is strawberries. Crazy. Uh, okay. Or hey, number five. Okay. Uh... Let me check. It's very green or accelerating mad. Hmm. But this sentence is—is is it still about light? About lights? Or I don't know. The the mad word confused me. Accelerating really mad. Mad is is something about. <laughs> Bad humor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, mad in English. It is very confusing. Mad, of course, in its most basic meaning, can mean angry. Mad also means crazy. Now, in conjunction with an adverb, it's got to be with an adverb. He's mad. That means he's angry. He must be mad. That means he's crazy. He's totally mad about. With an adverb, oh. and with about is a very, very strong, uh, very strong phrase to mean really, really love something. Okay. Okay. So, why don't you get Claire a CD? Mm -hmm. uh, she's very absolutely mad about blue. Well, very keen on goes together. So you, you, you wouldn't put two adverbs together. Very absolutely, you would never say that. Go oh, one, yeah, go one adverb. At, yeah. Okay, okay. So I can say very and absolutely in the, at the same time. Yeah, just one no, of them. No, don't do that. Yeah, just one of them. That's right. Okay, so she's absolutely mad about blur. There you go. Now, mad, as I said, can mean crazy. You can substitute another word to show a strong, like, absolutely crazy about Blur. She's absolutely bonkers about Blur. She's absolutely nuts about Blur. She's She goes absolutely bananas for Blur. That's another way to say it. So with an adverb, crazy, or any slang word that means crazy, and about shows a very, very, very strong like. And by the way, this is gold on an IELTS exam. Absolutely nuts about you're using a slang, idiomatic language, you're using a combination of adverb, noun, and uh, prepositional phrase, you're doing very high level skill English things, and this scores points on a TOEFL or an IELTS exam. Good one. That, that stuff is gold right there. Good. Yeah, good. Very good. Uh, hey, I, I want to quickly welcome Hebert. Hebert's with us. Yo. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? Thank you. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. I, I'm, I'm really into this lesson. This is a very important lesson, so hold on. Buckle up. Okay. okay I'll be, perfect. I'll, Thank you. I'll be with you in just a minute. Vienna. Bye. Number six. Hmm. I quite enjoy, or I really look forward to. Which one would you choose here? Mm. I really look forward to going to the gym after a hard day in the office. Okay, I agree with you. That's a stronger statement. Quite enjoy is very neutral. Why is it neutral? Okay, because these quite, uh, you notice quite like, I quite enjoy. 
It's a very sort of 50-50 blah, blah um, <laughs> thing to say. Real, I look forward to, by the way, look forward to a three three word phrasal verb. Uh, okay. It's excellent. Um, Vienna, do you look forward to the weekend? Excuse me? Do you look forward to the weekend? The weekend. Mm. Do you look forward to it? Saturday and Sunday? Mm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I understand. Do you do you have Saturday and Sunday off? Yes, some days, some weekends. Some weekends. Yeah. Some weekends off? All right. So you, you look forward to your day off. Something in the future that you really enjoy, that's, that's how you use look forward to. Okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, also, IELTS and TOEFL Gold. Here it is. I am into it. It's slang. It's less. It's uncommon language. This is really good. I'm really... I'm really into that kind of music. He's into everything alternative. Uh, that kind. Of, okay, he's into. If you're into something, this is a slang, idiomatic way to say that you enjoy something, that you like something, and this also is English test gold in TOEFL and uh, IELTS. Really good way to express that you like something. Uh, Ali, hello, hello, welcome. Hi. Hello. Wow, that you, Ali. Did you become a robot since I last saw you? Your uh, hello. your sound. You sound like um, the Terminator or something. Uh, <laughs> it's not good, yeah. man. Yeah, well, I, I, it's a, uh, it's a little scary, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's still, it's still, it's still more alive. Oh my goodness! Get out of your submarine. Come back to the surface of the ocean, dude. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right. Well, I hope the connection comes better because it's frightening the rest of us. All right. Okay. Here we go. We're going to do another exercise. Positive, neutral, or negative. Uh, it, okay. It's fantastic. Great. It's terrible. It's, that's bad. Um, where do these words belong? Uh, very positive, very negative, or kind of neutral? Um, let's zip around the class right now and try it. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Uh, Jackie, are you there? Can you sp can you speak? <laughs> Jackie? No. He, he right. has a lot of work. He does. He's trying to. He's multitasking. Is what he's doing. Yeah. And he's in a verbaling class, and he's uh, he's actually running his company. It's amazing. How does he do it? Hey, Bear. Okay, let's zip around the class. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wonderful. Positive, uh, neutral, and negative. Very positive. Of course it is. It's wonderful, in fact. Uh, yeah. Okay, I guess I'll go left to right. Uh, Ali, fantastic. Is it positive, negative, or neutral? Ali? Yeah. Uh, Fantastic. Is that a positive, neutral, or negative? It's very positive. Now, um, you know what? I can always uh, put a negative in front of this adjective. Uh, for example, to describe your connection. Your your connection is not fantastic. Oh, I, it's it's not fantastic today. Okay. Um, now. If I do that with a very strong adjective, wonderful, fantastic, marvelous, 
I'm being sarcastic. Okay, I can't help myself. You do not have a fantastic connection. All right, it's a little bit sarcastic, but this would be very common to use a very strong adjective with a negative to show sarcasm. Uh, Orhe? Excellent. Uh, well, I think excellent is very positive. Excellent, dude. Good job, man. All right, you're absolutely right. Uh, but I, I, I was wondering how can you understand what, what what my partner? Yeah, what Ali says. So I know he have a, a technical problems. I mean, uh, yes, I guess, but he clearly does. But you know what? He 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 gave his answer and you understood. <laughs> yes, I did. That's because uh, I was wounded in Iraq. They shot part of my brain. Um, uh, and a, uh, Part of my brain was removed in a, a surgery and they implanted a robotic, bionic... Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm partially robotic. Okay. Yeah, you are the Terminator sums. That's right. I, I can do that, nor I can think in robotic ways. Plus, I have so many students who have no intonation, and they talk like this, and they don't ever modulate their voice with high or low modulation, so they sound just like robots, and it's very boring. You really <laughs> should never speak English like this, because you need to have high and low pitch. Have you... Have you watched uh, Doctor Who? Doctor Who? Nah. I used to watch it, yeah. Yeah, yeah I you, love you, that show. Yeah. You are speaking like a Dalit. <laughs> it's Great, that's it's awesome. Terminator. <laughs> that's awesome, I, I totally forgot about that. Okay, let's continue. Let's, let's, let's uh, <laughs> knock this thing out. Vienna, great. Vienna, great. Positive, neutral or negative? It's great. I'm doing great. I think no, neutral. You know, some people would argue with you, Vienna, but I kind of tend to agree. It depends on the situation. That was a great movie. Now here we go, talking about intonation. All right, it's an excellent example. Um, yes. if, you, if you ask me how I feel, I, I'm great, I'm great, I'm just great. Yes. If, I, if I use no pitch, all right, if I use no high tones, then it's, it's extremely neutral. You're absolutely right. I'm great, I'm just great, everything's great. Well, that's neutral. But if I say it was a, it was a great movie, it's very then, positive. It, then it's very positive. There you go. Again, this is gold on an IELTS or TOEFL exam, knowing this. So modulate your voice when you use adjectives, please. Uh, what's that, Vienna? What? Oh, I thought you, I was just wondering, I didn't hear you. Okay, okay, let's, we're moving on, moving on. Okay. Yes. Uh, I'm. I'm. Sorry, I don't understand you. Mm, I'm here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me. Let me move on, please. Jackie, are you there? Jackie, appalling. Is it positive, neutral, or negative, Jackie? Appalling. And you need to click on the blue box in the upper left-hand corner. You want me to see your uh, your chat typing? Okay, I don't know if you're really there or not. A hey, bear, appalling. Positive, neutral, negative. Uh, is, is me, teacher? A hey, bear? Yes. Uh, yeah. A yeah. hey, bear. You say I ever? Okay, perfect. Uh, Oh, in the pronunciation, could you repeat it? Appalling. 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 Middle syllable Appalling. stress. Uh, very negative? Very negative? Very negative. Extremely negative, yeah. as a matter of fact. 
Uh, we often use the appalling behavior. Um, this is a very uh, common... Right. Alcohol? Sorry? Like awful or terrible? Like awful or terrible, but I can say it was an awful movie. It was a terrible movie. I commonly but use... But behavior. But appalling is... I can say it was an appalling movie, but that sounds weird. I mean, it's possible. It's not <laughs> grammatically wrong. But I often talk about appalling about human behavior, how somebody is. Always. Uh, only. Only. My God, the way he eats soup is appalling. <laughs> I want to throw oh, up when, when I watch him eating soup. Oh, my God, it's absolutely okay, appalling. Yeah. Okay, all right. You okay. get me? Okay. Ugh. Yes, I got it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Uh, Ali. Yes. Terrible. Yes. Terrible. Is it positive, neutral, or negative? Yes. No, Ali, it's not. It's actually the sound from your audio is appalling. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's quite terrible. <laughs> really, it's not good, man. Uh, I wish I was clearer. I Ali, maybe you you might want to leave the class and come back. I don't want you to go, but I want to be able to talk to you. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I see that. Okay, because okay, it's not good. It's not getting better. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, Jorge, round round to you. Not bad. Ah, uh, no bad. It's neutral. Yeah. Yeah, it's slightly uh, positive, but pretty neutral. Eh, it wasn't bad. Yeah. You know, well, yeah, so so. Uh, or hey, how do you say so so? Like, if I ask you how you doing, how would you answer me? So so. Asi asi. Oh, uh, sorry. Can you repeat me? Uh, can you repeat that to me? Um, yeah. Yes, I can. How do, how do you say um, average, up, down, in the middle? How are you doing? Like, if you're really, really in the middle. Okay, oh, you, maybe. Can, you can say but, not but bad. Do you mean in my country or in English? No, in your country. Mm. I mean, you. More or less. More or less. More yeah. okay. In English, you would say more or less okay. Um, in English, sometimes we use other other languages. It, it would be very common for an English speaker to say "asi asi." Come si, come sa, French. You know, Spanish. Come si, come sa, eh. Um, okay, uh, all right, anyway, Vienna, mm -hmm. Vienna, Boy. yes, yes, all right, all right, right now. neutral, what's that, neutral, neutral. all right, neutral. um, hey, Vienna, do you know the song, it's all right now, Baby, it's all right now. Do you know that song? Let me tell you that. No. No, you don't know no. that. Oh, wow, well, you can look it up. The writer of that famous song from the band Free died yesterday. And I, I you know what? Okay. All Right Now is the name of the song. You should look it up. It's your homework. All right, you're really going to groove on it. I think you're going to like it. Okay. All Right Now. Free. The band is called Free. Okay. The writer just died yesterday, so say Hail Mary or whatever you got to do, but, uh, you know, it's a cool song. Jackie, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Jackie? <laughs> Positive, neutral, or negative? Uh, okay. Uh, Jackie was writing in Berlin chat. Oh, was he? 
Oh, I didn't see it. I'm, I I got the group chat open. All right. Well, I'm just going to ignore Verbling chat for now. What did he say? What did he say? Well, uh, last time, last time he wrote is oh positive. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He wrote Jackie. Positive. Jackie, I'm not looking at Verbling chat, nor will I go back there. Uh, I'm I'm in the group chat in the uh, in the Google Hangouts. So click on the left hand corner blue box, please, so I can see your response. In the meantime, hey bear, brilliant. Hey bear. Uh huh. Positive, neutral, or negative? Brilliant. Sorry, sorry. Uh, what's word? Brilliant. 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 Mm, yes. I think there is um, negative, <laughs> very negative. No. Uh, in fact, it's very positive. I've got something to say here about this okay. word. Okay. okay. Can you explain uh, the, the, the meal? Brilliant. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah. I need to. I ne absolutely need to explain this because it's different for American and British people. British people, for British people, this is a very, it was, this is a very common way to say good, um, very positive. It was a brilliant movie. Americans do not use this word in that way at all. I mean, they just never do. It sounds weird to Americans. This is very common for British, totally not used by Americans. For Americans, brilliant Already has enough meanings. Brilliant means very, very smart. A genius. He's brilliant. It was a brilliant idea. Uh, he is brilliant. He he has all. He's a 4.0 grade average at Harvard. He's a brilliant student. Or it can mean brilliant, really bright. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, but. But you can use a brilliant like uh, fantastic, like uh, excellent or great. You sure can. That's perfectly okay. And British people do it all the time. It's a very common word for them. Americans rarely, if ever, use it that way. Uh, if we say it was a brilliant movie, we mean that it was really intelligent and smart. Americans. Okay. British people mean it's really good. So there's a difference in meaning there, so you should know that. Uh, for Brits, it's really common to use it to mean good, but uh, Americans don't use it that way. It may seem that way, but Americans mean something different. They mean intelligent. Uh, Orhe? Awful. Yeah? Awful. Awful is very negative. Very negative. Used widely for everything. That was that was a totally awful meal. That was an awful movie. He's an awful person. You can use that for anything. Vienna, dreadful. Dreadful. Very negative. Very negative. Dreadful. Very negative. Um, negative, bad, and maybe with a slight element of meaning a little bit scary. Okay, so it's a dreadful movie. Okay, it seems bad, but sometimes we can use it to actually mean scary, frightening. Okay. Hey, Bear. Okay. Mm, okay, it's... Okay. Okay, it's neutral. All right, when we use it as an adjective... You're right. Okay is neutral. Now, hey, Bear, I have a question for you. If I say, will you come to my party, and you say, okay, what does that mean? Uh, it's good. It's great. Or, you know, uh, no, no, it's great. Um, like, uh, yes. O or yes. Like, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. If I say, will you come to my party, and you say, okay, I, I can understand that you're saying yes. Mm-hmm. Right? All right. Okay. That's cool. All right. And for Americans, that's what it means. If you reply okay, that's a positive. That's a yes. Um, 
I'm an American, but I now live in the Philippines. In the Philippines, when you say okay as a response, it's neutral. It means maybe. And I didn't know that. I invited people to a party at my house, and they all said okay. I thought I was going to have 30 people at my house. Instead, nobody showed up because okay here means, oh, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Mm -hmm. Or real English speakers, that is a positive response. That means yes. Just saying, man, if you tell an American okay, that means yes to the American. Don't hurt his feelings and don't and not show up at his party, okay? <laughs> Americans have feelings too, all right? That's I'm just that's what I'm saying. All right. Uh, okay. All right, let's do a little mix and matchy thing here. Uh, let's see if we can match the beginnings of and endings of sentences after I quickly say hello to Max. Yo Max, hello. Hello, Oakley. How you doing? But, but if I say something like <laughs> Okay, I'm I'm good. It's like negative. If you can you can you elaborate? Can you can you give me more details yeah. in context, please? Some something like Max, would you like some tea? And I say something, and I say okay, I'm good. It means yeah, no. I, no, no. I would start no? pouring your tea, Max. For me, <laughs> okay. I said okay. That means okay. yes. I start pouring your tea, and then you smack me. And say, no, I said no. No, you said okay. We we would argue. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay. Well, there. All right. Confirming information. Yes, I understand. That's another way, obviously, that we use okay. 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 I got gotcha. you. I understand. All right. All right. Uh. Let's start around again, Orhe. Uh, what does this match? Number one, can you read it yeah. with what you think uh, it matches? I really enjoy my work. You do really? <laughs> do yeah, really? I do. You do? That's yeah. cool. That's yeah, great. I think that every day is a new opportunity to do something new. Yeah. Okay, uh, or hey, I think every day is a new opportunity to confuse a student. <laughs> joke, 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 joke. Yeah. Okay, kidding. thank you, man. <laughs> I'm totally pulling your leg, or hey, I can't help myself. <laughs> Vienna, number two, Vienna. I'm really looking forward to Paris. I've been there five times. Come on now, we look. Vienna, you did this before. Looking forward to. It's a three-word phrasal verb, and we cannot modify this. It has to be look forward to. It cannot be look forward on, look forward of, look forward down, look forward up. It must be. It is basically one verb, one unit. The whole phrase is considered in English as a unit. All right? Okay. So there's absolutely no choice but to use two here. Really looking forward? Uh, Seeing all uh, my friends again. There's absolutely no way it could be anything else. All right? All right. Don't forget that. All right? Look forward to. Got to be. There's no other way to say it. Uh... Jackie, I wish you would come over to the group chat box. I wish you would click on the upper left-hand corner blue box. Otherwise, I really cannot communicate with you because I can't jump back and forth. And anyway, the verbling chat box is full and I can't scroll down, so I couldn't see what you're saying. Anyway, please, please, please. Okay, but today I can scroll it down. And you can? Uh, yeah, it's, I don't know why. They fixed it. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, all right. Well, thank you, Max. All right. All right. Let's see. All right. I'll I'll try it. I'll try going back there. Oh, here. There's a little blue arm. It works. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Thanks, Max. I didn't even realize. I just stupidly I assumed it's not working because it hasn't worked for two weeks, three weeks. 
Okay, Jackie, I'm sorry. I apologize. I can't see what you're doing in the Verblink chat box. Jackie, I'm very keen. What? A, B, C, D, E, F. Type a letter. I dare you. Keen. What goes with keen? Every time. All the time. Okay, he's busy doing other things. Hey, Bear. Uh, hey, Bear? Uh, yeah, tell me. I'm very... Okay, number three. I'm very keen... I'm very keen. Uh, uh, let me see. This is my friend, my love, uh, uh, Oh, but uh, I'm very keen. No, I can understand because uh, <laughs> in my in my language, I uh, we don't have, you know, uh, an expression like that. Okay, a lot of these are dependent. They absolutely don't make sense at all unless you have the correct proposition. Look forward to. It has to be to. There's no other possibility. Keen on. It doesn't make sense. It's a phrasal verb. It doesn't make any sense at all unless it has the preposition. Ah, okay. All right. So keen on. Keen on. Uh, keen on. I'm keen on jazz. I've got about 200... CDs. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Max, I can scroll down, but the last... <laughs> you know what's funny? The last comment... I can't see the last comment. Whoever... <laughs> Me too. <laughs> like, uh, all right. Uh, whoever comment... Okay. Oh, my gosh. That's so weird. Oh, my goodness. How frustrating. <laughs> Anyway, Max, uh, number four. I'm very fond of Paris. I've Gotta been be up. there yeah. zero times. <laughs> but you've seen it in a movie. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Fond of, keen on, look forward to. All very dependent on that preposition. you got to have it. Okay, or hey, number five. <clears throat> okay, um, I will have to learn it crazy. Hmm. Uh, oh, maybe my little girls absolutely crazy uh, about horses. Yes, another one. Uh, crazy about now again you can substitute any other word or slang word in English for crazy She's yeah I, I, yeah I remember the last exercise so I use the same right. absolutely crazy about that's right she's mad about she's she's bonkers about she's insane about um, she's loopy about horses She's nuts about horses. You can use any other word that means crazy in conjunction with about to show a strong like. Okay, good job. Vienna, number six. Vienna. I yeah. get a lot of enjoyment from gardening. Okay. I get uh, uh, that's good. Vienna, do you enjoy gardening? Yes, I love it. I love it. Yeah, what do you grow? Flowers or vegetables? Flowers. Or fruit. Flowers. Flowers. Okay. Yes. You should see my tomato plants. You would be jealous. Oh. Yeah, I've been eating eating my own homegrown garden tomatoes for for like what, six weeks and I still have a ton of them I keep giving them away to my neighbors but I, I can't I, I do not have a green thumb Vienna my wife does I, I I'm not allowed to touch a plant if I touch the plant it's gonna die so I'm not allowed yeah. to touch them yeah, yeah. luckily my wife is very good 
My wife was a farmer in a former life, so oh, wow. I'm, I'm lucky. I, I have uh, a question. I have a question. The words, yes, this word skin phone, the concept is similar, right? Uh, I'm sorry. One more time. Okay. The this word skin phone. Um, the keen? concept is similar. Yes, keen font is the keen same. On. Keen. Font. It has to be keen on. Is that your? But the 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 concept of the words is the same, yeah. similar. Similar oh, to what? It means. It means like. Uh, keen is um. Oh, yeah. no. Let's say, uh, is similar in, in concept. I'm not sure what you're asking me. The, the word keen by itself means really, like, it's, a, it's rarely used, but it's used as an adjective. For example, he has keen eyesight. means really, really good eyesight. Um... Mm -hmm. And I, I must also say that Americans never say keen on. Never. Yes. Again. Okay. I like, never like, see this word. No, it's only for Brits. Only British people say this. Okay. Only British people say brilliant. Um, only British people say keen on. Americans. Americans just think you're a foreigner if you use this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thanks. Uh, all right. Th you're you're welcome. Thank you. Let's move on. Uh, when you are asked what you like, what should you say? If you're somebody's talking to you in a conversation, they ask you a question, you want to express how you feel about it, like or dislike. What, in practical reality, would you say? Uh, oh boy. Okay, Jackie. Jackie, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry we're playing hide and seek today, Jackie. I'm back on the verbling chat box. Uh, pain in my neck. Uh, okay, Jackie, what would you say if I said, "Shall we get a bottle of red wine?" A, B, C, D, E, or F? Okay. I cannot see your answer, but let me. Uh, hi, hi. Oh, okay. Let me see. <laughs> see. <laughs> okay. This is oh, fun. I, 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 I got, I got your secret. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, pushing the, that. I'm just pushing it up. I'm yeah, just yeah. Up. Max is trying to do the same thing. I, I, it's not like I'm a genius. I'm just following Max. Shall we get a bottle of red wine? Well, Jackie says, well, actually, I prefer white. Really? Jackie, don't you know the full-bodied reds are much more delicious? Uh, can I interest you in, um, I don't know, uh, Chateau Margaux? Chateau Margaux, 1979. It's a full-bodied red. Be really delicious. Okay, all right, never mind. He prefers white. That is the correct answer. All right, to show a preference. Very good, Jackie. No problem. Hey, Bear, come on back wherever you are. Max, number two. Do you fancy going to the cinema? Do you fancy? <laughs> uh. Okay. E. I'd rather stay at home if you don't mind. Yes, that is the correct answer. A couple of the other answers are very funny, though. I wouldn't be <laughs> dead in it. <laughs> Makes me laugh. Okay. Or hey, or hey, do you like fish? Not really. I don't. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> that's, that's yeah, let, let me match. Let me match the the answer in, in Douglas, but my 
Yeah. My real answer is I don't. Okay. Do you like fish? Uh, oh, I I am totally agree. I totally agree with it <laughs> with that answer. Not much, really. I prefer meat. <laughs> well, isn't that a coincidence? Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, very good. Okay. Good one, Jorge. Vienna, number four. Uh, do you do you eat here often? Yeah, it's one of my favorite restaurants. Okay, uh, Vienna, do you have a favorite restaurant you like to go to? I like to go to Quiznos. To what? Quiznos. I don't know. That. <laughs> All right, I'll take your word no, for it. It's, it's American. It's, it's sell in. Sandwich? Salad? Salad. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't. Same, same. Subway. Restaurant. Yeah. Subway. Subway. Oh, I, I like don't know. Like a subway? Subway? Subway, subway. subway yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. Sorry. Subway. Yeah, all right. I got you. Those monster sandwiches. I missed. Now I'm not living in America anymore. I, that's one thing I really miss is really fat, huge sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Here they make they make a sandwich. They put two, they slide some mayonnaise on two pieces of bread and stick it together, and they call it a sandwich. They have no idea that there's supposed to be a half a kilo of meat and cheese in between. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Jackie, 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 Jackie. Do you like whiskey? And things like that, Jackie. Can can we have a drink? Uh, yes, that's a strong yes. <laughs> Very strong yes. Uh, sure, why not? Okay, terrific. Uh, okay, let's have uh, Baker's Mark. That's my favorite whiskey. But uh, anyway, in the meantime, which answer would best Best match, A, B, C, D, E, F. What do you think? I wouldn't be seen dead in it. Okay. I'd rather stay at home. Uh, I can take it or leave it, actually, is the correct answer. I don't know what you said. but Yeah. I, I, I don't understand what is that answer. I can't take or leave it. Oh, yeah, I can take it or leave it. Uh, okay, this is a very common answer. All right. Um, it means, do you prefer it or not? It's good. It's, uh, you know, it's. I can do it or not do it. It's okay. Um, if I don't do it, I don't. it doesn't bother me. If I do do it, uh, that's great. Something, it's very neutral response. Um, we say it about things like, uh, I don't know, preferences. When somebody asks for your preference, uh, or or if you like something, do you like skiing? Well, I can take it or leave it. You know, sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. Okay, okay, thanks. Sure. Uh, okay, Max, last one here. Have you ever been to that new club? Max, are you there? Max, he's not here. Okay. Have you ever been to that new club? Anybody? Who's the first person to respond is the winner? I wouldn't be seeing that in it. It's for kids. Yeah, yeah there you go. Or hey, you win today's class. Come on down and accept your fabulous prizes. Okay, I wouldn't be seen dead in it. All right, now here's a very strong statement, uh, which we use, of course, about a place in. All right, so it's got to be about a place. I wouldn't be seen dead there. Uh, uh, okay, so they wouldn't even catch your dead body in that place. Never mind going there as a live, breathing human. Yeah, very strong statement. 
it's yeah. an expression related to 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 shine. To what? To how can I say that? Let, let me see the word. Uh, uh, shame. Yeah, shame is the word. I would, well, kind of. I would be ashamed to be seen there. Well, yeah, I think it is kind of related. I would be very embarrassed to be seen there. It's for kids. I, you know, I'm 50 years old. Why would I go to that place? I wouldn't be seen dead there. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah, you're right. Yes, it's exactly what it's expressing. Uh, okay, guys, we are we are out of time. You absolutely adored. We're keen on. And anyway, thank you very much. Thank you. And, uh, I'll see you next time here in Berlin. I, I hope you. Uh, Bye. Thank totally you, to everyone. Great class, man.